It looks like a party trick, but in enduro cross events, there is sometimes a large log at corners. You can ride around it or save precious seconds with this advanced log pivot turn. Ruben Chadwick regularly wowed the enduro cross crowds when he used this to win his junior championship. First, read our disclaimer. Second, don't attempt this until you are ready. <laughs> you could really mess yourself up, as one of our guys came close to doing. Third, master the normal log pivot turn first. Watch our training vid and don't try this advanced stuff until you've nailed the basics over and over and over again. Start with a small log. Remember, the basic technique is the same, but you slowly increase throttle and the controlled drop of the clutch. With practice, you can even put your foot straight back on the foot peg and ride off. Watch your foot position, especially on bigger logs. Ruben's foot isn't quite on top of the log and it's close to slipping off near the end. Sometimes you may need to quickly change your foot position if the bike doesn't go exactly where you planned. As you get more confident, you can feed in more power and almost get the bike horizontal. Mastered that? Okay, if you want to be a real show pony, try a mid-air pivot turn from a standstill. This has no practical value for everyday dirt riding, of course, but you will have girls queuing up to have your baby. And probably a pile of guys who had no idea they were bi-curious. How do you do this? Buggered if I know. But just watch Trevor in slow motion and work it out for yourself. If you are crazy enough to try this, remember to do it in graduated steps. Don't go for that 180 degree flying Superman straight away. Remember, all three of these guys are expert level trials riders and learned all the crazy shit on their trials bikes first then applied it to their dirt bikes. If you are serious about trick riding and extreme enduro riding, we'd advise you to do the same.